Hello happy people, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm getting ready to go to bed and I wanted to show you all really quick on how I actually preserve my braid out um, to last a couple of days. This is how I go to sleep with it at night. It's actually a variation of the pineapple method. I know that's pretty popular all over YouTube. If you all don't know about it, go ahead and just, you know, YouTube a couple of videos that have done the pineapple method. But um, I wanted to show you all how I preserve my braid out as to where I still have nice, long, e elongated, um, I guess good stretch to my hair while also somewhat preserving the curl pattern. I've had my hair worn out like this all day now, so as you can see, most of the curls are kind of gone, but there is still some clumping, which is really good. So um, let me go ahead and show you all what I do. You'll need, I guess, five items. No, you'll only need four items. The first item is a, um, a hair tie. Now this can be, I recommend something that doesn't have any type of metal on it. So this one is one of the kind of the bigger uh, scrunchies, hair ties that doesn't have any uh, metal on it. It's just like the all elastic one. Um, a rubber band, which if you have a smaller version of this, it would actually be better, but I can't find mine. So I'm just gonna use a rubber band and I'll show you all what I do with this. And then you're gonna need, uh, a silk hair tie which is what you'll tie around your edges and then that old school classic granny bonnet but uh, no nah, you need a nice little bonnet to kind of uh, cover your hair too so let me hop right on into this it's gonna be a really short sweet video so the first thing I do is I gather my hair into a pineapple essentially but actually mine is gonna be more like a, um, a ponytail up top so I want to take the really big elastic band and just wrap it around the ponytail a couple of times. And actually I'm going to make it some, it's not going to be really tight, but it's going to be loosely tight if that makes sense. Probably wrap it around like three or four times. So do one more time here, right? So it's it's not really tight, but it's uh, it's up here, right? So the hair is up in a big ponytail at the top, right? Next I'm going to take my rubber band and I'm essentially just going to wind it up that let me scoot down some. I stretch my hair out like this. Try to get the nicest maximum stretch possible. All right, so like this. If y'all can see me still. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start kind of at the bottom, just a little bit further up. And then I'm gonna just keep going up this ponytail. And again, it'd be better to use another elastic band that doesn't have metal in it or that is better than a rubber band and I'm gonna go all the way to the top and then I'm gonna just tip the top off like that right so I know I look crazy I look like I look crazy but this is how I normally go to sleep so this is what that is looking like okay you see all of my hair is pulled up the nice thing about sleeping with my hair like this is when I sleep on my sides and when I sleep on the back of my head, one thing it's nice because I don't have anything that's just like uh, interfering with my sleep. And then the second thing that's nice about it is me sleeping on the side or the back of my hair actually helps to stretch the hair because I'm sleeping on it. So it's like kind of permanently or temporarily like leaving it in that position. So it helps to stretch the hair even more. So next what I do is I take my bonnet and I just kind of push this forward. A lot of times I'll have a bobby pin Actually, so one more thing, you'll need a bobby pin. A lot of times I'll take a bobby pin. I don't always use a bobby pin though, but you can take a bobby pin and just pin it to the front, right? So that's what we're looking like here, okay? I know it look a little crazy, but I'm telling y'all, it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, okay? And mine is a little loose, it's old. I've had this forever, so it's a little loose. It ain't gonna stay in place. But what I do is, I just kind of twist it in the back like so and then I just kind of tuck it and that normally keeps it in place for me okay and then next what I'll do is I will take my silk scarf and I will wrap it around my hair okay like so just like this and that's it. This is how I go to sleep. So y'all, I'm about to go catch some Z's. I will see y'all in the morning. So I will be back tomorrow and I will show you all 
what my hair looks like after sleeping on it for one whole night after doing this kind of alternative pineapple method. So yeah, I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. Oh, happy people. Good morning. I am back. I wanted to show you all um, what my hair looks like after I take it down from it uh, being in the uh, alternative pineapple method. So let me show you all really quick. So what I do is first I will take um, the hair. Let me first I'll take the scarf off. First I'll take the scarf off. And then after that, I'll go ahead and remove the bonnet. Okay, so you see the hair is still nice and flat and everything like that. I'll go ahead and remove the bobby pin that we put here to secure the hair. And then that leaves you with the long ponytail. And what I do is, is I very, very carefully remove this rubber band to ensure that there is no breakage with my hair. I'm very careful about this step. Um, if you're super concerned about breakage, I would even cut the rubber band if I were you. But uh, I've done it with rubber bands before. I'm not too concerned about it. So you just kind of follow the rubber band back down. Just kind of pretty much going in reverse for everything we did yesterday, honestly. Go this way. And then you just kind of take the... So no hair came off with the rubber band. So you just got to be really careful. Um, but yeah, so now that's off. And then the last thing I do is take this ponytail down same thing just kind of go in reverse okay and yeah so this is my hair now <laughs> and um, all I do from this point is just fluff it out and go I don't add any additional product I just did my braid out yesterday so my hair is still very moisturized and feels really good if you want you can add a little bit of oil to give it some shine or something like that but I typically just kind of leave it as is when I wear my natural hair out, I do like to have a middle part. Um, I don't know. I just like how the middle part looks on me with my natural hair. But then whenever I wear units, I like to wear my hair on the side part, which is interesting. But that just is what it is. So all I do is I go through and fluff out. Go through and fluff out. And then that's it. And then I fluff it to like my desired look. Let's see. And that's it. So this this is this is pretty much how I would go forward with the day and wear my hair. Um, it's you know what's interesting though is I think the back of my hair it's longer than like the rest and so sometimes like the back of my hair it'll shrink up and kind of get even with everything else but then also sometimes it will just like stay like this where it just wants to do its own thing. So sometimes what I'll do is I will try to just kind of get it to blend in with the rest of the hair. You know, but if that doesn't work, I, don't, I mean, my hair isn't uniform. It's not meant to be. So I just kind of let it do what it wants to do. Um, so, yeah, y'all, this is what it looks like. This is the alternative pineapple method. If you want to get your braid out to last a couple of days, I will wear my hair like this um, for at least, um, I don't know, maybe. Well, actually, no, I'm putting crochet braids in my hair today. So typically, though, if I was doing a braid out, I would wear it for like three to four days maybe even five depending on the product I use but this particular product I use I don't think it's gonna last all five days it looks okay though it might but um, typically when I use my Cantu leave-in conditioner that's when it lasts all five days with extreme curl definition this is starting to look a little frizzy already so um, but yeah no I love it I'm gonna just show y'all 360 really quick so this is the front this is the side the other side and then the back Right, so it still looks nice and fresh, kind of like I just did it. So yeah, let me know if you all give this alternative pineapple method a try and um, and how it works for you or how you all sleep and secure your braid outs at night. I would love some new tips, tricks, hints, uh, whatever you want to call it because um, I'm always learning new ways to care and care for and manage my hair. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this quick little um, uh, tutorial on how to, you know, preserve your braid outs um, for a couple of days. And yeah, as always, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.